Hey guys, Silence Yale here. Welcome back to the Utah Macross Gacha video. It's been a while. I kind of skipped out on one of the gachas before the current one we're going to talk about. So, <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering what has been going on, well, it's been very tiring. I've not been very um, energetic because of my full time job and things started to pile up. So, finally, I am back because well if you didn't know today that i'm recording this video it is the lunar new year so to all my chinese friends out there throughout the world be even if you're in asia or maybe in the european side or the american side you know it is the lunar new year so so hopefully you guys have a prosperous lunar new year wherever you are from and of course let's talk about the current two gachas that are currently for this event which is the last event of the month and to decide are you gonna spend all your red packet money into this or not so let's take a look at Minmei's gacha, which is the one that I missed out on for having its own video. Uh, well, because I'm sure if you guys have been following the events of this month, or rather the new year, because it's still January uh, of 2020, you've probably been feeling very tight on your wallets and your expenses ever since Dana has implemented the 7 star episode plates into Utah Macross uh, you probably tossed your entire well extra expenses into getting Cheryl's brand new episode plate or Kaname's brand new episode plate because they are currently the best of the best right now and you probably might have not enough seeing stones um, for both of these gachas at this point of time, uh, like I am feeling it for myself. So let's talk about Minmei and Re Reina's brand new episode plates and see whether you should be spending your red packet money on any of these episode plates or maybe you should only be spending on one of them if you've actually got enough finances or if you're a free-to-play player, maybe you've got some leftover singing stones from wherever you dug them from because, uh, well, the events have been piling up non-stop as usual and, well, with the inclusion of the seven star plates, the singing stones are just no longer enough. So let's take a look at Min Mei's episode plate for her crossover life costume and see whether her episode plate is actually, well, beneficial uh, or you could just play the event and work really hard to attain those free episode plates from the event itself and unlock her costume the free way. Alright, so looking at the last page, sadly to say, all the crossover plates have no special notes attached to them. So let's take a look at the total score and of course the skills attached to this episode plate to see whether it's actually financially advisable you know, to obtain this episode plate or not. So 3,652 total score, which is pretty much the same for all the crossover life episode plates so far we've seen um, for this set, you know, because we've seen those that have been um, previously released before with a combination of divas within the episode plates itself. But these are for the individual divas themselves. So yeah, all of them have been pretty much the same. Uh, Min Mei focuses, focuses on voice, you know, because of the current event. Um, Ayo Boite Maska does use voice as his main stat for high score. So, yeah. Alright, total, sorry, center skill, S rank total up, units total is boosted by 30% up. It's not the highest percentage we've seen, and it's only boosting, you know, the units total so it's not the best center skill we've seen the best one would probably be like a boost for the entire diva setup that you have uh, so yeah this is pretty okay um so active skill uh 20 seconds you will have an easier time tapping notes so i 
don't know, cause I Oboite Maska is actually a pretty easy song even under extreme. I don't know whether this active skill has any use or not, but yeah, it's probably good for those harder songs that came with this event that you might be needing some practice to get a full combo and that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, well, in the long run, I think the active skill is pretty okay, maybe for harder songs out there that you need practice with. But other than that, I think this active skill is still uh, pretty meh. Alright, so life skill. Well, well, score repeat. So if you guys still don't know what score repeat is, basically it's a life skill that will reactivate itself. Um, you know, after every 30 seconds, it will give you that 80% boost in total score. So that's, that's pretty decent, you know. Um, so if you guys don't have any episode plates that are like this, um, that belongs to Min Mei's crossover costume, um, I guess you can go for it. But if you have already got something like this, I would totally skip it because, you know, because the costume for Min Mei's crossover live, uh, Cosmos, this is what the costume is called, can be obtained through the free episode plates within the event itself. If you're lacking a bit of the costume points, toss in a few episode ops, you unlock her costume just like that. So, you know, considering if you have episode ops to spare. Alright, so with that said, I am not going to pull Min Mei's gacha. Um, if you're a Min Mei fan, please, by all means, go ahead and do so. The episode plates alongside her gacha you know, uh, pretty decent, especially this one um, that belongs to Basara. Uh, yeah, so, well, not exactly Basara, you know, because the pre evolved version of the episode plate is civil, so <laughs> it's, it's more of a civil <laughs> episode plate than a Basara. So, yeah, her, her episode plate is fantastic because it comes with a special note attached to it, so that's pretty fantastic. So, yeah, I guess the episode plates that uh, come along, you know, with Min Mei's gacha, pretty much good episode plates that you can obtain, like Reina's one here. This is a pretty good episode plate, you know, considering it has a high total score. Yeah. So, let's take a look at Reina's brand new kimono episode plate and see whether her episode plate is actually worthwhile. So, let's take a look. So 3655 total score, pretty much same for all the kimono episode plates that have been released so far. Um, of course, focusing on voice because the event song does need that stat. Center skill, S rank, units total is boosted by 30% up. So far, it's looking pretty similar to Min Mei's crossover life. Hmm. Alright. Active skill for 12 seconds, your combos do not break. So it's pretty much the same as Min Mei's, just that, well, the life skill. Combo bonus, it is that brand new life skill we've seen uh, being implemented since, I guess, half a year ago. <laughs> um, since um, Cross Crossover Live 2019, I suppose, if I recall correctly. So. If you guys don't have any episode plates that has this brand new life skill, of course with an episode plate that's of this element or series, um, yeah, I guess Reina's brand new episode plate is definitely one to look out for. It has a pretty decent amount of total skill as well, as we have seen with most episode plates that come with this life skill. Alright, so the final page we reveal it all is Reina's episode plate going to be one of the closer few to the top tier range? Sadly to say no! So if I were to rank Reina's episode plate in terms of tiering, her episode plate is definitely lacking from the top few. It's probably going to be like second tier. Um, of course, it, you know, ranking, let's say for example, I'll put God tier for the seven star episode plates. Then of course, tier one, would be those that are the 3,800 total range with 
Um, you know, the special note attached to it, then of course tier 2 is somewhere within 3600 total score. So yeah, you can see how I slowly form my tier ranking for all the episode plates. Eventually, I will get down to making a video. Um, of course, ranking all the currently available episode plates uh, to this tier system. And of course, finally letting you guys decide for yourself you know, which episode plates you should be collecting and aiming for when they re-return. And of course, using those rarity up stars to evolve these episode plates that are of higher tiers to help you improve your high score achievements and of course, to up improve your Utah grade if that's what you are really lacking in because you want to get better red bosses summoned during the red boss events and so on and so forth. So here we go guys, we've decided Reyna's gacha is actually the more important one in terms of, you know, getting more powerful episode plates or costume points because sadly to say, Reyna's kimono is hidden behind a gacha wall. You cannot get her costume points uh, anywhere else unless you've been working very hard within the standard lives and, you know, luckily enough, you might get episode plates that have costume points to her kimono. Other than that, you know, there is no other way because, well, luckily enough for us, Min Mei's crossover life costume is unlockable via episode plate um, from the event itself. Well, let's go with Reyna's. So here we go, I have only enough for a free disc uh, discounted template pool for Reyna's gacha. Other than that, I am broke. So <laughs> here we go. A template pool at a discounted rate and hopefully enough with the Lunar New Year around, uh, my luck might improve. Oh, we get a bit of loading. So hopefully that means some kind of good luck. Ooh, ooh. Nice! That's a pretty decent animation. Okay, a red box on a single blink. Uh oh, that's not good. So... We are still relying on luck to evolve the red boxes. Alright, let's move along with all the common stuff. Elto giving the thumbs up for approval. Hopefully that means good luck with the red boxes. And apparently the red boxes are close to the end. So no evolution on this one. Okay, we do get an exclusive brand new plate for Reyna's costume. That's a good thing. So it seems like I have to work harder to get Reyna's kimono costume eventually. So whoop, there we go, the notification to say we've gotten points to unlock Reyna's kimono costume. Uh, sadly to say, we probably have to end up using more singing stones in the future to get her costume, if not episode orbs, uh, if I have a buttload of spare. Because now I have both Min Mei's crossover life costume and Reyna's kimono costume to unlock. Not forgetting the whole lot of other costumes that I have yet to unlock. Oh goodness gracious me, that is a lot of stuff to decide which one comes first. <sighs> Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this gacha. What do you guys think about the costumes for both Reyna and Min Mei? And of course, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on the episode plates, stats itself, and of course, your own personal pools. Leave a like to this video if you appreciate all the content below, or rather within this video, I am not talking properly, I am not thinking properly because I am still extremely exhausted considering that I had to work and live through Lunar New Year without resting properly. Uh, I am so tired. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching all the way to this point of the video. If you are, you are definitely a bro in my books. Until then guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!